Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Menu True Nerd, and this is Fallout New Vegas No Kill. And we are actually in Novak, as you've probably seen, because we're doing a little bit of photography in a fun little quest, Michelangelo's quest. So let's just. Uh... There you are. You can uh, you can do you can do proper. Just crack out the camera and just take a photo. You can zoom in a little bit if you want, but I'm just gonna get a photo of Boone up in the dinosaur mouth there. Lovely. You don't actually have to do that. You can literally, um, you can you can shoot from the hip with a camera. It's great. So Novak is one of the signs. Let's go to the Bison Steve, which is another. I love this quest because you just get tons of experience points. It's great. Anyway, speaking of which, real photographers, shoot from the hip. Yeah. And there's one other thing actually. Again, this is something I missed for years and years and years. Didn't know about. After you've cleared out Prim and dealt with all its problems, just come back a little bit later. And head back to the Vicky and Vance Casino. What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. And these guys show up. So yeah, these guys are NCR deserters who just want to take over the casino. But a speech of 30, so you know, you, you don't have to do this this late. You can go back and do this. I think it's about two in-game days after you've given Prim a sheriff again. Then literally, speech of 30, your turf. Prim has lore again. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. Then why would you come to the town whose sheriff is the NCR? This town is NCR ruled. Maybe you're right. Come on. So there you go. They immediately run off. Third sign's Helios 1. Just get a photo of that. And as you can see, the amount of experience you get for each sign gets higher and higher, which is great. Cam McCarran's the fourth. Oh, what the... There, there's a... Oh, there's a... There's a fight going on. And the final one is the Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle at their headquarters. There we go. Even without experience boosting perks, it's some of the easiest experience in the game. Because none of this stuff is out of the way. Literally, Novak and Prim. Pretty much just the basic game, you will always pass those. McCarran, you'll pretty much always pass it. Helios 1, you'll pretty much walk past it. In fact, literally, if you are just doing the basic game in the order the game tells you to do it in, you will pass four of those five signs. The other one is the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, and that's pretty much easy to get to as well. So this is some of the easiest experience in the game. This is possibly even easier than Talent Pool, because unlike Talent Pool, you don't need high speech checks to persuade anyone to uh, to go. I've got some pictures. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. In the range of 750 experience points and a thousand caps just for basically going to locations you've pretty much already been to. So that done, let's just head into Hoover Dam and have a little look-see around. So a few fun facts about the dam. Firstly, at the top floor of the Welcome Center, there's these doors here which are very hard, locked, and this is the panic room, and there's basically nothing here of any note whatsoever. There is a snow globe for Hoover Dam here. There's another snow globe. I really do not need money at this point. I have plenty of money and nothing to spend it on. I should really make a trip to the New Vegas Medical Clinic just to burn some of it. So, the inside of the dam is massive and you can explore it for absolutely ever, pretty much. Um, I wouldn't bother. There really is just not much worth doing. Pretty much what you want to do is just head straight through here into the offices. And this is the Colonel's room right here. So we can have a chat with her in a minute. But first, there's a few bits and pieces you want to have a look at around here. So if you head downstairs, this is where the NCR keeps its shop, which is very, very important. You can buy from the Quartermaster, but you've got to persuade him to sell to you first. Not even to a friend of the NCR. Well, that is great and all. Speech of 50. I guess I can make an exception just for you. Oh, thanks very much. He has... Some nice, um, unusual ammo, actually. If you are doing a kill run, he's got, like, loads of armor-piercing rounds. Armor-piercing rounds of the .308, which is really, really useful. Loads of hollow point. He's got, like, loads of really good ammo. So, well worth coming to visit him in that regard. Other thing that you really want in this area is go and find the radioactive room. It's kind of uh, counterintuitive as that sounds. So just head around the corner and look for the radiation symbols that would imply do not go into this room under any circumstances. Here you are. And then immediately go into that room. So, in here and then just go straight. Just ignore those. Just ignore those. 
And one of these crates can be opened. And in that crate, Chinese stealth armor. Weighs uh, 40, doesn't have a particularly good damage threshold. Um, doesn't even have a great value. The bonus you get off it is not that fantastic. I have taken one just to show you what it looks like because, you know, no one's going to deny it looks pretty darn cool. Chinese stealth armor. Sorry, it only weighs 20. Uh, I only said it weighs 40 because I was, because uh, there were two of them. So, this is what you look like with the Chinese stealth armor. It's not that great, but you can get to the dam pretty early on in the game, and damage threshold of 12 at that point in the game isn't terrible, and you do look pretty darn cool. That person is really unimpressed. I was hoping for some sort of reaction, and now she's glitching into all back. So, aside from those two things... Ooh, was that her? Is that the woman I'm after? Yes! Alright, well she should be in her office, but she's decided to wander off to the lab, so whatever. Colonel Moore is here, let's chat to her. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. So, Moore basically sends you to murder all the Great Khans, and is pretty dismissive about the idea that you will be able to do anything but murder them. But, uh, let's just go and see what we can do with an open mind, eh? So I've just fast travelled to the Samsung, uh, to the rock crushing facility because it's pretty much, it's a good position to start running for, uh, for the Khans. And I've come immediately under fire. Luckily from nothing in any way dangerous. I mean it looks very impressive, but uh, these guys are pretty much as good shots as Imperial Stormtroopers. Oh look, they actually got me that time. Ah, this is nice, my new solar power perk. I'm regenerating health from being in direct sunlight faster than they can injure me. That, that's nice. So, here we are, coming up on Red Rock Canyon, and we are going to, we're going to solve all their problems. Let's just start off by heading up to, uh, heading up to the main headquarters of the Great Cards and having a chat, because, uh, despite what, uh, Colonel Moore says, absolutely the Great Cards can be trusted. We can totally work this out with them, so, uh, it, it's really fiddly and annoying. It is not the easiest thing to do at all, but it can totally be done. So, let's just, uh, wander up and have a chat. So, let's just have a quick chat and figure out what uh, what the word is. So, we have a Legion Frumentarius here, who is uh, totally a bit of a problem. Let's speak to Papa Khan himself. So, let's just ask the king outright to break the allegiance with Caesar. Caesar is only using you, he doesn't care about the Great Khans. So, Papa Khan is very committed to his alliance with, the, uh, with Caesar's Legion. So, this is interesting. Papa won't deal with us, but... His right-hand man, Regis, has said that he would be interested in an alliance between the Great Khans and the NCR. Step outside and Regis uh, decides... Well, actually, Mr. Z, step outside and Regis teleports ahead of you outside and wants to talk to you about the situation. So Regis has come and chat to us. Basically, he has said that Papa will come round and be totally on board with working with the NCR if all of his advisors think it's a good idea. So all we need to do is convince all his advisors. So first things first, let's get rid of the guy from Caesar. Now, there's two ways of doing this. Uh, the first is, you just head into his room. If you open his footlocker, there is some, there is Carl's journal. Carl's journal basically exposes him, but you don't actually need to use that. In fact, it's better to do it if you've got speech by speaking to him, because then you get the experience points. Caesar's veterans will arrive from Arizona soon. And there will be no stopping our victory. Whatever you say. So, speech 25. I've been wondering why you don't petition the Khans for membership as a show of allegiance. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Surely a warrior in service of glorious Caesar is equal to any of the tri any tribe's finest. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors. And I wouldn't wish to compare them to the Greek Khan. Oh, Carl's losing his cool. Because you know they'd come up lacking. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? Khans, drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. <laughs> Little bit overkill. Not my fault. Not my fault. He was the one that went around yelling about how much he hates Khans. 
So, Carl dealt with, let's convince the four people. And let's start with Melissa. Melissa is unfortunately deep within Deathclaw territory. So, we need to find a way to get to her. So, best place to start, just go to the Samson Rock Clushing Plant and just head straight south from there. If you look at the map marker, it looks like she, the closest map marker would be Good Springs and Good Springs Cemetery. I'm pretty sure you can't access her from that direction. You have to go the long way round, uh, which will take you straight through Deathclaw territory. So, we'll have to be prepared for that. What is that red cloud? Never mind. I've already been spotted, but don't worry. It's fine. We'll just head straight through. When you've got a stealth boy, easiest way to cover large amounts of distance in short time is to run in short bursts and then crouch just to make sure you're not actively in danger. So as long as you're staying in caution, you're pretty much okay. Here you go. So there's a little there's a little route through here that you can just kind of nip through. And this is like a little shortcut. And that's the quarry area down there. So again, yeah, more death claws. Meanwhile, there is a little encampment of great cans up here. That's close enough. What do you want with the great cans? And there's Melissa. We don't really use the cams ourselves. Is she Australian? Just sell them to anybody with the caps. If it ends up hurting the NCR in the process, that's a bonus. Well, at least we know Australia wasn't destroyed in the nuclear apocalypse. That's nice. The cans in the NCR don't get along. Oh, she's definitely Australian. If we're not looking. Melissa won't deal with you, however, until you've picked up a crate of drugs for her or materials for making drugs, and they're in Sloan, so let's just nip there and get those. Good old Sloan. And here comes oh, Chomps. There are death claws all over the Fun fact about place. Chomps, you can tell him that you're going to deal with the death claws. Depending on what level you are, he gives a different response. So if you like if you've just shown up here and you're like level five, he'll tell you no you can't. But if you show up later in the game when you're much tougher, he will basically say, Yeah, maybe you can, which is quite fun. So, I could take care of your death care problem. Let's see what he thinks my chances are. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death well, thank you very much. I mean, uh, I haven't actually I ever killed anyone, but... Nobody... Excellent. Five free stim packs. Oh, five super stim packs? Ooh, that's nice. All right. That's, I mean, definitely worth doing. Definitely come back later. And most important of all, Snuffles. Poor Snuffles and his hurt leg. Your leg's injured. Let's use medicine to clean it. Heal Snuffles. Snuffles gets healed. Snuffles always gets healed. Something else good in Sloan. In the workers' barracks, a copy of Duck and Cover. Obviously, uh, the main, the actual real skill books are really rare in this game. So, uh, yeah, great thing to have. Obviously, not that great for this run because plus four explosives doesn't do me that much good. But, you know, useful generally. So just come to the main mining office and the thing that you want is upstairs in the main office. There will be a big suitcase. So the suitcase where the drugs were supposed to be was empty. So now the game says go and have a word with chomps. I'm looking for a suitcase filled with chemical supplies for a friend. Oh, and I fixed Snuffle's leg. I noticed Snuffle's limping. And you get NCR fame for healing Snuffle's, but only if you turn it into chomps. So always remember to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. So Chomps tells me actually I know to go and see a chap called Tyrone in Prim. So let's just nip and see him. And Tyrone is back here in the tents at the NCR. Friend in Sloan told me to come to you about some chemical supplies. So, regarding Tyrone, you can just pay him 300 caps. You can get uh, it down a bit with barter. Speech 40 and you can basically get it for free. Or Black Widow and you can sleep with him. So, I'm going to go with Speech 40, because that's the most experience points. I've reconsidered my position, and I think it would be in my best interest if I were to sacrifice my profit on this particular deal. Now, I could either expose the Great Khan Spoggin Operation to Lieutenant Hayes, which would be NCR karma, but would also screw me over in terms of my reputation with the Khans and with Melissa in particular, and I need her on side to complete um, the Great Khan quest without violence. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to let his drug smuggling slide. If you ever come out to Red Rock Canyon, I'll put in a good word for you. All right, so I've made a friend of Melissa. And I'm liked by the Great Khans. Now let's speak to her again. How's it going? Reggie said I just talked to you about speaking against the Great Khans Alliance with Caesar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. 
He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Did he also tell you women aren't permitted to serve in the Legion? What? You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. So, that is Melissa on side. Let's speak to Jack and Diane down here. Jack and Diane are drug makers and drug dealers. And you can get them on side if you're willing to help them out with their drug business. I love how when you wake people up in the middle of the night, they're totally fine with speaking to you straight away. How's my most favouritest friend? We've never met before. I'm here to ask you to publicly oppose Papa Khan's alliance. Huh? The Legion will kill you and sell down into slavery as a prostitute. That's a bit dramatic. Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Wow, that was easy. So if you've got high speech, you can convince Jack to uh, make some beneficial chemicals or some different chemicals. And then if you've got science, you can teach him recipes right for new chems. So you can make super sim so you can teach him to make super stim packs with science 50. I can also teach him how to make rocket part time mentaps slasher and uh, you can't teach him hydra you need survival for that. I, I need to remember what some of these things do. So part time mentaps is plus 5 charisma which is awesome. Rocket is AP slasher. If you're doing a kill run slash is brilliant actually. Damage resistance plus 25 and damage plus 25 so it makes you pretty darn tough so i'm just going to clear him out of stim packs because why not don't worry jack and i have talked it over we'll talk up the idea of breaking the alliance that's nice that was easy to do um i thought i'd have to do the whole of the little quest they're going to give me to make them back me and because i plan to do that at this part of the run anyway i'm going to do that little quest anyway just out of niceness so I'm going to do some quests for Diane, and there's a very good reason to do uh, Abu Dhabi Honeymoon, and I will mention it when we get there. There's a really good reason why you want to do this quest. So, first things first is you want to head towards Cottonwood Cove, but not actually be in Cottonwood Cove, so I'm going to go the long way around, uh, because I don't actually have a... I don't want to go to Cottonwood Cove, because I'll immediately be fired upon, because obviously I made the terrible mistake of freeing Benny... Um, because I didn't want someone who I was told I could decide the fate of to go free. Uh, Caesar is slightly weird like that. So anyway, um, as a result, I can't go to Cottonwood Cove, so I am going to just run down from Camp Searchlight. So I will meet you a little bit closer to where I actually want to be. So my first task is to find a man called Anders. And frustratingly, there's two characters called Anders in this game. Um, the one that you want was sent to find a route to do drug dealing in Arizona, where Caesar is from. So, uh, around Caesar's camp is a very good place to start, because Anders, unfortunately, has been captured. There he- ooh. In fact, uh, if you zoom in on him with the vats, literally just as his model is loading in, uh, you will find that, uh, he's, uh, he's not quite in crucified position yet. Okay, no sign of any legion, which is good, because I want to be able to get out of here as soon as I've freed him. Please help me. Hello, Anders. Jack and Dan sent me. Let's get you down from there. So, he now makes his own way back. It's a very long way, but he'll do it himself. You also don't need to bother waiting for him to get back. You can just tell her Anders about it. Yeah, Anders beats you back you somehow. You so Dan's given me two jobs. The first one is pretty simple. We have to go and speak to uh, Dan Hostler at Crimson Garrett. I like the fact that the game doesn't really bring attention to it, but Dan is possibly one of the most evil, morally bankrupt people in the entire game. Um, he's running. He works for the NCR, but he's involved in drug dealing with the Great Khans. If you hack the computer in the Crimson Caravan office, he's having an affair with someone um, in the Crimson Caravan organisation, even though he does have a wife at home, and his daughter absolutely despises him for never being around. So, uh, <laughs> oh dear, he's such a bastard. He's an absolute, he's just an utter, utter bastard. I've got a package here from your friends, Jack and Diane, the drug dealers. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. I'll take that. I've got to talk to you about Alice. Oh, I didn't realise this was an option. I really don't have time for this right now. 
Wow. I ask him about, I want to talk to him about his daughter and he doesn't actually care. He doesn't care she's run away from home. This guy is, this guy's a monster. And the other job that Diane gave me is delivering drugs to Motor Runner, the chainsaw fiend. Uh, so, obviously, this involves basically a lot of tanking damage because I'm going right into the middle of fiend territory and that's fine. That's just going to be a thing I'm just going to have to accept on this particular occasion. Luckily, no one's got anything particularly tough to throw at me. I just need to find a way into the ruins. There's one just around the corner there, but I've cut through the ruins in order to uh, give myself a little bit of cover. Yeah, they've not got anything to throw at me, really. I should really be doing this in the day, but uh, never mind. Just get around the corner. The reason why you want to go into the um, the door you just saw me go into is it's because it's by far the closest to Vault 3. Um, so literally yeah, just around this corner and then the Vault 3 slope is right there. Ow, stop, stop shooting me. And I'm dressed as a great Khan. Nip inside to Vault 3. There we are. So because I'm coming in here uh, dressed like this, everyone's totally fine with me. People are scared of these robots in, these in fact, not only am I now free to just kind of go about doing whatever I want, um, I can actually ransack the place. No one will stop me. So I can just basically steal everything that I can basically just ransack the whole lot, which is great. Let's go deal with Anders while we're here. He is head to the left and then just keep heading down the stairs and you'll see an area called Living Quarters. So you notice there is a, uh, a dead fiend here who has also a uh, .44 revolver, which is nice. Just in case you didn't already have one, that's a nice thing to have. And there are mines everywhere. So uh, be careful with this area because there's a lot of stuff that can kill you, like tripwire. And uh, what a surprise. It's Anders. It's Bryce Anders, who's different from Anders, but has the same name. So, Anders just wants to wait it out and uh, hopefully... Anders just wants to wait it out and hopefully recover. If you want to take the place by force, with speech of 75, you can basically get you... The two of you can work together. And he is pretty good in a fight, so that's worth having. I'm just going to go with Medicine 35 to basically tell him that his leg is uh, uh, not good enough to recover. You can get him back on his feet with a doctor's bag, but I don't actually want him at full capacity, otherwise he'll want to take out Motor Runner. And I want to do this without any violence, so I'm just going to tell him if he heads for McCarran, he can make it at a limp. So, he now sneaks out, and nobody see- look, look at this! Nobody sees him! Also, that was him with a wound, badly wounded leg. You just- did you- how did you not see him?! Anyway, let's head back down the way we came. Let's get, let's uh, explore the rest of the, uh, the the living quarters. So here we are in the overseer's office. Um, I thought I needed to get a key to get in here, but this door opens. So I don't know if the key that Anders gives you opens that door. Not sure. Anyway, overseer's terminal. So on the overseer's terminal, there's a couple of interesting points. Firstly, there's an interesting law point, which basically, um, even if you if you speak to Motor Runner, he will tell you this anyway. But if you're gunning and thus can't speak to Motor Runner, basically these are the terminals that reveal that there was an overseer election where one overseer was really keen on um, isolationism and one overseer was really keen on opening up the vault and seeing what was out there. And the guy who was really keen on opening up the vault won and as a result they opened up the vault and what was outside was fiends uh, so they were immediately massacred. There's also a note about weapons lockers um, so there's loads of uh, weapons somewhere and you can unlock those doors using this terminal so I've now opened up some weapons lockers and we'll get to those very shortly. So there's a bunch of people that have just been grabbed by the fiends now, they tell you to go and get the key, which you can pickpocket off someone called Daniel, and he's kind of a little bit further in. However, the fiends do not mind you just opening up the cage. You can do it in front of them. I'm not going to hide. I'm just going to open up the cage. Take down this password. It'll get you into the overseer. Thanks for the help. Already did that, but all right. And... What the fuck are you looking at? Hi. This is one subtle escape attempt. That fiend was clearly looking at them. 
This is this is the escape. <laughs> you just walked into the just watching them go. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So as you can see, there's now uh, there's two underwater areas, and this this is where it's useful to have the rebreather. So let's just pop our rebreather on, and then we can just go and have an explore as much as we want. I'm just gonna pop some radex actually. And then, as we said earlier, this is where the weapons were kept. Not desperately good weapons. I mean, two submachine guns is okay. That's not too bad. So let's just head around the other side and see how that goes. Two more gun cabinets. 10 millimeter, not bad. Two sawn off shotguns, worth having, not spectacular. Locksmith's reader. Probably one of the better things in here. Still usable despite being a magazine that's soaked in water, but uh, all right. So yeah, a few a few thousand caps worth from doing that, but uh, you know nothing that's going to uh, change the world. So that done. Now let's actually head to where we're supposed to be going to Motor Runner himself. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this this route makes it really easy to clear out Vault Three because you can literally ransack the whole place and nobody minds, which is great. So into the maintenance wing, uh, using the key that you were given. Again, a few more locks to open yet. I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon. So you have anything from Red Rock Canyon to sell me? Now, here's what I don't like about Vault 3. If you have Speech 25, you can ask him what happened and he'll openly tell you about how they opened the door and he went out and, and he came in and killed them. I kind of wish he didn't, so the only way you would actually know what was happening was if you actually bothered to read all the terminals. I feel like... You know, something like the lore of a vault, you should actually have to go digging for. I've got a package here for your friends Jack and Diane. Now while you're here, single most important thing and the whole reason we did it this way. This locker in Motor Runner's room. A reverse pulse cleaner. Take that. Later it will be incredibly important and you really want to get it while you're in here now. Because it will save you a whole lot of trouble later. I promise you, doing it this way so that you can just go in without anybody shooting you, thanks to uh, thanks to Diane, this is the way you really, really want to do it. Because you're going to need that little piece of equipment. Not not this part, uh, we'll need it down the line. So that done, literally just head straight back up and out. I think we've pretty much uh, cleared everything out at this point. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I just delivered drugs to you! Yeah, the, the official law reason for that, that these guys attack you, is because um, these ones are like more feral, which is why they're kept outside in the first place. I finished the Crimson Caravan run, and I get my payment, and I finished the Vault 3 run. And you, didn't and you get a little, uh, you get a technique there, uh, which is okay. But, ooh, my mouth's still moving. So I'm now idolised by the Great Khan, and obviously those guys have already committed to working with me, so that's nice. I've made a slight mistake with Regis, because what he needs to be on side with you, um, well, aside from, you don't actually have to join his running club, despite how it looks, what you actually need to get Regis on side is you need to present him with proof that tribes that ally with Caesar get broken up and assimilated into the Legion. Now, there's a book that proves that beyond any shadow of a doubt. And it's sitting in Caesar's tent. And I kind of forgot to pick it up when I was there the first time. So, um... I think you know what that means. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay. Good. Ow. Stop shooting me and also throwing things. Okay, just get around this corner. Get around this corner. We're fine. We're fine. They will struggle now. Okay, now I just need to get around the corner so this rock defends me. Those guys won't be able to do much to me anymore. Get around here. Shotguns, pretty much useless. Those guys, those two boys, still doing their exercises anyway. Well done. Okay, haven't even needed a stim pack yet. That's pretty good. Now we just run through here. Just top up health. He's just run into there. That's good. That means he can't shoot me anymore. Oh, I shouldn't have gone this way. I should have gone the way there wasn't the dog. 
I should have gone the way that wasn't the dog. Okay, in, in Cecil's tent. The book is on the left. It's on the table on the left, but I'm probably going to be destroyed by the fists before I can do anything about it. Ow. Yep. It's this. What? It's that book here. Yep. Legion Slave Ledger. It wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be, but it was pretty damn close. Where the hell is everyone else? Where's Caesar? Where is he? <laughs> Where's Caesar? I I thought Caesar was going to be there. That's far fewer people. So this time, I'm going to go the other way down. I'm going to go the other way down. Because now, everyone should have been lured over to the... Oh my god, that's where Caesar is! That was where Caesar was! Oh, 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 Four. okay. Yep. Drink some Sunset Sarsaparilla. That will help. Is my armor completely broken already? No, I'm not doing, even doing that bad. Okay. Ooh, the filter hasn't loaded properly. The tents are a really lovely shade of red. Okay, go down this way. Just head straight down. Because I, I, I took a ridiculously um, indirect route last time. You can just do this. There we go. So now, no one should be able to catch up. There'll be some people by the door, but I'm not too worried by them. Dale's certainly not too worried by them. He is seriously chillaxed by this whole situation. And they're up. No one by the door. Excellent. They must have already run in. Good. Travel to Cottonwood Cove. They're not going to like me any better in Cottonwood Cove, just, just incidentally. Cottonwood Cove, they're not that keen on me either. I swear. This, this is the... Uh-oh. Who... Whoever, someone has a gun that I'm not damage thresholding. Who the hell has that gun and how powerful are they? Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, no. Okay. Way more damage than I'd like. Way more damage than I'd like. Okay. Just keep, keep taking the drugs. Keep taking the drugs. Get out of the fire. Who on earth is powerful enough to get me down that low that fast? Who on earth was that? Is it this guy? Because melee guys are deceptively powerful, of course. Okay, on the plus side, I've got my health regen. I've got my health regen. Ooh, kick, kick, kick. Oi, leave me alone! Stop macheting me in the... Anders! Oh, Anders, you do not want to be here right now. Okay, I've jumped down a cliff. That'll throw off the melee guys. This was where I lost them last time. This was where I lost them last time. I think I've done better this time. I think I've got, um, I think my armor was better quality to begin with, which is good. I think it's pretty much time to trade in this armor anyway. Oh no, no, not the fire geckos. 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 I saw that fire gecko. Okay, okay, good. I can get out of here. I can just get out of here. I'm just going to go. Just go. So, here we are, back at Red Rock Canyon. Let's have a chat with Regis. You're becoming quite the political agitator. I can't say I'm displeased. Have a look at this book. I'm sure it happens to tribes that ally with Caesar's Legion. Let me see. My God, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. So... That is all four people. I mean, really, it's only three people because Jack and Diane effectively function as only one person. If you convince one of them, the other one just goes along with it. So it's fine. So now we just need to speak to Papa. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? So with the speech of 75, you can talk pup around. Either you can kind of give him a really positive upbeat message or you can kind of tell him that uh, that nothing matters. In either case, basically, the Khans will just disappear. There's a kind of a more interesting way of resolving the situation, though. So you have to... Basically, he's looking for inspiration from the past for where the Khans glory should come from. So, uh... Let's, uh, let's see about that. The followers of the apocalypse keep many records of the past. So he suggested we speak to the followers of the apocalypse. So let's do that. I'm looking for something that could inspire the great Khans. 
Also, spare supplies, please. Sure. Stim pack, please. You'll need to wait. Yes, I'm still looking for something to inspire the Great Khans. I was never much involved in the cultural side of that project, but Ezekiel was. Ezekiel, meanwhile, is actually really easy to find. He's just chilling out here by the 188. Julie Farkas says you might know something about the Great Khans. Here, I salvaged this book from an old library. It's a history of people called the Mongols. I think that's what the Khans built their culture on. So there we are. A book on the Mongols. That'll do the job. Now, technically, of course, I could have just used speech to uh, to solve this, but I kind of feel like, you know, just giving them a little inspiring pep talk isn't as satisfying a conclusion as actually giving them a tone that they could actually rebuild their battered culture around. So I kind of feel like this is the better solution. So have a look at this book. If you want to see what your tribe could be, read about the Mongol Empire. This is exactly the kind of symbol the Khans could unite behind. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. And unfortunately, Papa will never be willing to fight uh, with the NCR. Great Khans will be willing to fight with the NCR, but only if Regis is, uh, is in command. But that involves Papa being dead, so I can't do that. Sounds wise. I wish you the best, Papa. If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Also, could I touch your beard now? No, no. Oh. So let's go find more and have a chat with her. Ah, there she is. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? Yes, I do. The cons won't be a problem to anyone ever again. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I have just kind of inspired them and sent them off on a mass nom nomadic migration, but they'll be a problem to somebody, just not us right now. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. Uh, Gamora. Oh, Gamora is just... Gamora is possibly the single most difficult to arrange thing in this entire game. Uh, Gamora is very, very difficult. Oh, dear. All right, good. So... It's on to Gamora, and I hate Gamora. <laughs> I really hate Gamora. So uh, let's just follow up on one of the tips that uh, that Moore just gave me. I was told that they were buying, trying to buy guns in Freeside. So let's start with uh, let's start with the gun salesman in Freeside. Let's start with Mick and Ralphs. What's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. So, the Omertas have stopped buying guns from Mick. That's our first clue. And we had one other lead to go and visit the receptionist at... Everyone else just saw that cow, right? And our other tip was to speak to the receptionist. We helped the receptionist over at Gamora with some thugs that were taking advantage of her. She owes us a favor. Go talk to her. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. So there we are. We've got our tip off. We know where to begin at Gamora. We need to speak to the receptionist. And then we have... We've got the main Gamora quest to do. We've got a couple of other quests that we can deal with in Gamora. And we'll be doing all of those next time. We will clear out the whole casino uh, next time on Fortnite New Vegas. No kill. So... Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas. No kill. Thank you very much. And goodbye. This is not what it looks like. <laughs> Her limbs are terrifying. She's kind of like, she's like a little spindly monster. More sacrifices for our new gods.